April 10th, 2020, some 31 days since the cancellation of the events that had changed the world. Well, we got a little action going on up the road there, but for the most part, we still see few sirens, few ambulance runs, and almost all the hospitals are empty. They're still laying people off. What you're watching on TV as far as digging holes, these things they've done always before, they are propagandizing it to keep you scared so you don't come out fighting for your rights at the time that is required or needed if you want to be able to have rights in the future. Getting the right information will save your freedoms because at one point or another, they cannot take everybody down. That's why they lie, scam, and cheat to keep us in the dark. Turn off the TV set or go to independent media for more solid answers and comfort during these difficult times. Jason Goodman, Richie from Boston. These guys will tell you what's really going on. They have foot soldiers out there in the field taking a look at the development. In New York City, Jason walks around. He shows the emptiness of the hospitals, the emptiness of the comfort ship and it really puts it into perspective of all these activities are nothing but a large psychological operation during a potential transition into a Chinese-like government. If you do not want or care for a communistic government, this is the time to start sharing with each other, your friends and your family, what it means to have liberties. To lose these liberties and the ability to challenge our own government will assure us a slavery of tyranny of which we will regret. Before they come too hard and too digging in, we should start to resist at our time now because it will become more difficult in the future. Over and out, we'll catch you up another time. Adios.